I'm Imran Safdar. I'm one of the volunteers at the Victoria Road Mosque in Lockwood, Huddersfield. And uh, uh, my uh, very wise brother Ahmed and people that will see him have got me involved in this project. And there's, I'm really good to see lots of businesses, lots of individuals, uh, lots of gentlemen like Ahmed and Danny who organised this project, who are working alongside, uh, cooking meals, organising groceries for the homeless, for refugees, those who've fallen on the hard times. But what we need here is more support. This is entirely voluntary-led organisation. There's no costs, no wages. Danny, uh, your colleagues were telling me that you're trying to, you're coming across people now who are working, who are struggling to look after disabled children, who have fallen on hard times. What are your aims for this project and how bad is the need? The main, main aim is to help, help people, you know, that, that's his aim, is help people that need the help. And I think what we found over the three and a half years of going is, we, we started off just handing food out, and now as we see in this day and age, things are getting worse. People are working all week and we still can't afford food. So we're coming onto the stage of, we're now needing to give people food to take home. It's not just on the day that we're needing to do This is the problem you know. I'm hearing from very many food banks at a local mos mosque, different organisations, street kitchens across the north there are people working full time and they still can't afford to put food on the table at the end of the week there's not enough paycheck left so no, to speak there's not, no. there's not enough month left so to speak rent's gone up gas has gone up electric's gone up you just can't people can't afford that anymore and Danny and his volunteers and Ahmed and the, 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 the teams at the mosque and the local churches the organisation that work with you <laughs> they are they are frightened what's going to happen this winter because bills are rising rapidly. I know lots of people watching are struggling right now, but if any politicians, any businessmen, any entrepreneurs, high net worth individuals are watching right now, you know, I know you're doing some fantastic charitable work privately, but I'm going to ask you once again, maybe get involved with the local Victoria Road Mosque and most importantly, get involved with our partners here. Danny at Huddersfield Street Kitchen. Uh, whether you can cook meals, provide groceries, uh, discounted ingredients, awareness, all this is needed. Uh, and like I said, nobody's taking any wages whatsoever. This is not, it's not a money-making uh, operation. Uh, I'm not going to mention any charities you know, where there's exorbitant wages paid. I'm not going to mention that. But what inspires me is we're feeding people of all backgrounds and uh, we're not here to judge in any shape or form. Danny, what is the most worrying tale you've heard since running this project? It's like what I tried to tell you earlier when a lad came to me who works 40, 45 hours a week. Has kids at home, couldn't afford to feed his family. Stood crying because he couldn't afford to give his kids. And this is a guy that goes to work who does everything possible to provide for his family and, and you can't do it anymore. So, I mean, as you've seen today, what we, the, br the, the bread and the groceries we give out, that give him a chance to take a bit home. And to see a man walk away proud, even though the guy works, he should be proud anyway, he works for his family, but to walk away proud because he had a bit of food for his, for his family, it, it really got to me. And that's what's made us do the more of the food, you know, like a food bank type of a thing. That's why I say it's not just about handing a bit of food out on the day now. It's come beyond that. We hand sleeping bags out, we hand sanitary products out, uh, for male and female, we hand clothes out, we do tents. And then during this winter, when I said to you, when I think it's going to get bad, we do an outreach where we go out on a night, and uh, about six, seven o'clock in the night time, we go out and we hand food out to people that are actually on the streets as well. I think this winter is, is when it's going to be bad. I think with all the prices of everything going up and the gas and the electric going up, we're going to have families here left, right and centre. We have elderly people turning up. And I think the oldest couple we have is 78, 80 year old. And that's someone's grandma, someone's mum. And there's no one to help them anymore. And there's no financial support to help them. So best thing we can do is shout out to everybody to help us any way possible. You know, give a little bit, a little bit. All these little bits add up. You know, you've been, you've both been here today, and you've seen we had little bits, little bits. We struggled with a little bit, and then everybody mucks in together, and we managed to feed people. Take people take two or three meals home with them, and that's because everyone just mucks in together. You know, one big, one big community. So how, Danny? Um, how can people watching, even this reaches five, ten people, yep. how can this, how can people help? Where do they drop food off? Where do they drop ingredients off? How do they reach out to you? 
Well, you can go on, on Facebook, if, if you do get on Facebook, which is Huddersfield Street Kitchen, and add yourself as a member. Now, it's a private page, so I'll personally see what it is that we're adding. Um, we stand on uh, Huddersfield Town Centre here by Market uh, every Sunday. We're here about half o'clock. Well, we're here from around about half past 11 until about half one. Uh, depending on how busy we are, yep. sometimes it's a little bit later. And if people want to get in touch with me privately, you can. I'm Danny, Danny Below is on Facebook. Um, I'll, so I'll, you, I'll tag you I'm going to say tag, tag me in it and yeah. I'll put one at cards and with numbers yeah. or something. And obviously, you can, get in touch we can also drop off at certain times yeah. at the Victoria yeah. Road Mosque in Huddersfield. Uh, so, um, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. So, it's Huddersfield Street Kitchen working with the Victoria Road Mosque. Uh, we're collecting and we need your support so we can carry on this vital kind of heartbreaking work take care